What's going on team? So uh, this is going to be our first session for black belt review. This session is going to be for our uh, senior black belt track for uh, your self-defense techniques. We'll go over all of your attacks. I'll give you guys a self-defense technique that you can do. Keep in mind, you don't have to do this exact technique. However, these are going to probably be the easiest techniques for you guys to remember and do, especially when you're working out and you're tired. If you practice these techniques, it'll come to you off of muscle memory. You won't have to sit there and think about it. So first one we're going to do is right straight punch. I'll do it two times facing this way, two times facing that way. Actually, we'll have Miss Megan attack first. So for this attack, uh, she's going to step forward, a straight right punch to my face. I'm gonna step out, carry the elbow, shot to underneath the shoulder, grab the wrist, roundhouse kick to the stomach, step behind, stop, stay back. So facing towards you guys, straight right punch, parry, chop, grab, asa, stop, stay back. Facing this way, straight right punch, parry, chop, grab, asa, stop, stay back. I'll do it one more time, face this way. Straight right punch, parry, chop, grab, asa, stop, stay back. If you're looking for another video for that, uh, you will find it under windmill guard. Feel free to pause the video, rewind it as many times as you need to until you're ready to move on to the next one. I'm just going to keep moving from here on out. From there, we have straight left punch, the same exact technique, just this time off of uh, her left hand. So I do everything mirrored, right hand carry, left hand shot, grab, asa, stop, stay back, do it this way. Parry, chop, grab, asa, stop, stay back. Good, doing it this way, straight left punch, parry, chop, grab, asa, stop, stay back. Straight left punch, parry, chop, grab, asa, stop, stay back. All right, moving on. From there, we have right hook punch and left hook punch. I'm going to bring my journal up here more. All right, so uh, this technique, easiest one is double blades. So she steps in. I'm going to step in as well. Double blades. Sorry if I got you. Uh, grab, chop to the neck. If uh, you were doing this with a weapon, you would add this uh, dancer step, grab the weapon, strike. But just to make it easy, just because it's a hook punch, I would just do double blades, grab, chop. Stop, stay back, simple as that. Uh, we'll do it on the left side too while we're here. Double blades, grab, chop, stop, stay back. Good, from there, uh, let me do it in the air a couple times, silly me. Right hook punch, double blades, grab, chop, stop, stay back. Left hook punch, double blades, grab, chop, stop, stay back. Right hook punch, double blades, grab, chop, stop, stay back, double blades. <laughs> Left hook punch, double blades, grab, chop, stop, stay back. Moving on from there, we have front bear hug arms pin. Technique for this one is smothering bear C. So Miss Megan's gonna come give me a big hug. My arms are gonna be locked down my side. I'm gonna put my hands on her hip and step back. Three knees or as many as it takes until I feel her grip loosen. Once I feel it loosen, I chicken wing up to get her arms out of the way. Jab cross, stop, stay back. Uh, I'll do it facing this way. Smothering bear C, bear hug from the front, arms pin. Back, one, two, three, out. Jab cross, stop, stay back. Smothering bear C, bear hug from the front, arms pin. Back, one, two, three, chicken wing, jab cross, stop, stay back. Moving on from there, rear bear hug, arms free. So this time she's going to hug me from behind. My arms are gonna be out. I'm gonna take my middle knuckle and I'm just gonna knock on her hand. There's a lot of pressure points. From there, as soon as I feel her grip loosen, I'm going to headbutt back as I punch back, kick her knee on one side, kick side kick her knee on the other, stomp down, cover out, stop, stay back. 
Actually, I got an easier one for that. I showed you, what I showed you guys there was, a uh, what's that one called? Scraping hoof. Yeah. There's an even easier one that I'll show you. So for this one, take your hands, knock until you feel loosened, jump forward. You might wanna push your arms out and just rear kick back. Stop, stay back. If you wanna do it on the other side, you don't need that. Okay. I would just knock, step with this foot, kick back, stop, stay back. Doing it this way, bear hook from behind, arms free, knock, step forward, rear kick, and on the other side, rear bear hug, arms free, knock, step forward, on the leg kick, stop, stay back. That one's pretty easy. Moving on to rear bear hug, arms pin. This one's a little bit more challenging. I'll face this way. So this one, she's hugging me. I'm going to step forward. I'm going to step into a deep stance, and I'm going to turn my body. I'm going to punch with one hand, elbow back with the other. I switch, elbow, 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 rear kick, stop, stay back. I'll do it this way. Step forward, elbow, 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 kick, stop, stay back. Rear bear hug, arms pin, elbow, 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 asa, stop, stay back. Oh, crashing elbows is the name of this one, by the way. Rear bear hug, arms pin, elbow, 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 asa, stop, stay back. Moving on from there, right cross wrist grab and left cross wrist grab. You have a couple options with this one. I'm gonna tell you, any of the single wrist grabs, just do a uh, thrusting salute. So from here, step back, down, kick, asa, then for left, down, step back, your left this time, left leg kick, left heel palm, asa, stop, stay back. We'll do it this way. Sorry, it's getting hard to breathe, it's getting hot in here. Uh, Right cross wrist grab, down, right leg kick, right heel palm asa, left cross wrist grab, step back, left leg, right hand down, left foot kick, left heel palm. Right cross wrist grab, right foot step back, left downward dog, right advancing front kick, right heel palm, stop, stay back. Left cross wrist grab, Left leg steps back, right hand down. Left advancing front kick, left heel palm. Stop, stay back. From there, we have right straight wrist grab and left straight wrist grab. Again, these wrist grab techniques, I recommend you do the same exact technique. So rather than doing anything different, we just do a uh, thrusting salute again. So she grabs, it's a straight grab, I can still do it the same way. Step back, down, kick. Asa, and then if it's on my left side, down, kick, asa, stop, stay back. I'm not gonna do those again. <laughs> Moving on to two hand push. Uh, easiest one for this one, I would say, is sweeping arm hooks. So she's going to push, I step back to my left, right foot drags back into a cat stance, I got that heel off the ground. I'm gonna snap a front kick out, lean forward. Wrap her shoulder with my left, pull in as I right elbow, then right hand drag, uh, doing the fall, stop, stay back. If I was doing it on the other side, here, do it from this angle just so they get a better picture. She pushes, I step back to my left, right calf stance, crane, kick, it's advancing, so I'm gonna land, grab her shoulder, pull in as I elbow, fall down, Stop, stay back. Good. Uh, name of this technique is sweeping arm hooks, if I didn't already say that. So two hand push, step back. Uh, I step back with the wrong foot, my bad. I'm used to doing it here. Two hand push, left foot step back, crane, kick, grab, elbow, asa, stop, stay back. Two hand push, crane, kick, grab, Elbow, asa, stop, stay back. From there, we're going to do one hand push. 
A uh, couple different options you could do. Easiest ones I would do would probably be if it's a cross push, do Japanese hand. If not, um, forget the name of this one. We did a couple of bell cycles ago, but it's going to be a shoulder push from across, same side. So her right shoulder is pushing, or left hand is pushing my right shoulder. I'm going to step back, bring my right hand up like I'm doing a, uh, what you would call it, a waiter's parry, but I'm going to grab her wrist as I do that. Pull her in as I heel palm to her face. My left hand is going to check her arm down, right heel palm to the face, stop, stay back. As she was doing it on the other side, I step back, my left hand comes out, grab, pull in as I heel palm. From there, right hand checks her hand down, left hand, heel palm, stop, stay back. Let's do it on this side. Do the right side first, step back, right hand out, grab, pull in as you left hand heel palm, left hand check down, right palm, stop, stay back. Step back, left hand uh, outward block into a grab, pull in, heel palm, right hand down, left palm, stop, stay back. All right, facing you guys, uh, straight right push, step back, block, grab, heel palm, check, heel palm, stop, stay back, stop, stay back, straight left shoulder push, step back, block, grab, Heel palm, check, heel palm. Stop, stay back. Right straight shoulder push, block, grab, push, check, heel palm. Left straight shoulder push, block, grab, palm, check, palm. Stop, stay back. From there, we got overhead weapon. We're excited because we got our weapons out, so now we get to use so for this one, coming down uh, with the knife, easiest one to do would be raining lance. So I step out, X block, making sure my wrists are facing towards me, grab with my right hand, I'm gonna circle down, stab into her leg, leg, stop, stay back. If she was doing it on the other side, I would do the same thing, but this time my left hand stays closer to me than my right, stepping with my right foot. So again, I step right hand or right foot, left hand closest to me, left hand grabs, circle down in her leg, stop, stay back. Raining lance, or uh, we'll just say overhead weapon, left leg step, X block, make sure your right hand's closest to you, right hand grab, circle down, stop, stay back. Overhead weapon, uh, left side, right leg steps. X block, left hand's close to you this time. Grab, stop, stay back. From there, we have two hand lapel grab or two hand choke from the front. Either, this can be done for either one. Easiest thing you can do is do exactly as the kids are doing. So you're just gonna take your hand, bring left hand up, step back your right, Elbow, jab, cross, stop, stay back. Same thing if I do it on the other side. Left leg steps back, right hand comes up. Elbow, jab, cross, stop, stay back. If you want to do the harder one, we'll show it to them just in case they want to. You're going to do, um, I just had the name, knees of aggression. Take your left hand, pin, step forward. I'm going to strike to her chest. Clear with my right hand, chop to the neck, stop, stay back. If I was doing it on the other side, right hand pin, step forward, left hand strike, left hand clear, left hand chop, stop, stay back. All right, ready? Double the power grab, pull, I'll do both of them. So first one will be the easy one, up, elbow, jab, cross, stop, stay back. Double pull, grab, pull, side B. Up, elbow, jab, cross, stop, stay back. Double grab, pull, side B. Up, elbow, jab, cross, stop, stay back. Well, that was side A. Now side B. Up, elbow, jab, cross, stop, stay back. 
Then we have the Mason aggression one. Left hand pin, step forward right, strike, clear, chop, stop, stay back. Other side, right hand pin, step forward left, strike, clear, chop, stop, stay back. Facing this way, repel grab pull side B or side A, pin, strike, clear, chop, stop, stay back. Then we got side B, right hand, pin, strike, clear, chop, stop, stay back. Moving on from there, hair grab. So this is, uh, she's grabbing my hair with one hand. I'm going to take my right hand, I'm going to slap down on her hand, hitting the pressure point on uh, the top. My fingers are grabbing the pinky side. I'm going to step back. I'm going to do middle knuckle strike right up into uh, her, I don't know if you call this part of the arm, but right uh, past her elbow, right here under her arm, there's a good pressure point. Circle in, straight to the armpit right there with that middle knuckle. I'm going to grab underneath her wrist, peeling her hand back, step forward in front of her, and I'm going to get her in a arm bar slash lock right here, slash wrist lock. I'm um, pin elbow, hammer fist, stop, stay back. On the other side, yeah, we'll do this, that'll be easier for me to see. She grabs, other hand, pin, step back, up, punch, grab, step forward, get my elbow over her arm, and push it down right there. Hammer, or elbow, hammer fist, or if you want, you can do uh, elbow, hammer fist, break, elbow. Both of those are acceptable. Stop, stay down. Good. All right, facing this side, single hair grab, or hair grab, pin, up, punch, grab the arm, step forward, get him in that arm bar, elbow, hammer fist, stop, stay down. On the other side, hair grab, pin with your left, step back, up, punch, grab, step forward, get your shoulder or elbow over, elbow, hammer fist, stop, stay down. Facing this way, pin, up, punch, grab, step in front, get that elbow over, elbow, hammer fist, stop, stay down. Other side, left hand pin, left leg back, right hand up, punch, grab, step in front, get your elbow over, elbow, hammer fist, stop, stay down. Moving on. Choke from behind, two hands. So uh, crash the eagle part one is probably the easiest one for this. So we'll do it this way. She's choking me. I'm going to take my left leg, step to two o'clock, turn around and elbow. As I do that, I'm going to, or just kidding, I'm going to check her arm down, uh, elbow up, back knuckle, hammer fist, rear kick, stop, stay back. We do that one more time, just thought I messed up. I'm going to step, turn around, elbow, check, elbow up under the chin, back knuckle, my bad, hammer fist, rear kick, stop, stay back. If I was doing it from this side, step, elbow check, elbow up, back knuckle, hammer fist, rear kick, stop, stay back. Good, all right. Show to behind, you crash the eagle part one. Left leg step, turn around, right hand elbow, uh, right hand check, the left hand check, right elbow up, right back knuckle, right hammer fist, right rear kick, stop, stay back. On the other side, right foot steps, left elbow, right check, left elbow up, hammer fist down, rear kick, stop, stay back. All right, moving on from there, stranglehold from behind. So she's standing behind me, choking me like this. First thing I want to do is look to uh, where her arms open. Take your right hand, thumbless grip. You're going to grab her wrist, and I'm going to anchor down as I step into a horse stance. 
elbow back. So that's all gonna be at once, one move. So I look, step, elbow to her stomach. Hammer fist down. If it's a, a real life situation, grab whatever you can, and you're gonna contour the body as you elbow up. From there, I'm gonna get, just get underneath. Stop, stay that. Actually, no. Let me redo that one, because I got a better way to end it. I'm going to anchor, look to my left, step, elbow, hammer fist, come up, elbow from here. You guys can step out this way, stop, stay back. Or if you want to throw them to the ground, you are also able to do that. Uh, just be very careful. So I step out, anchor down, elbow, hammer fist, elbow up. From there, if I want to throw them down, I would get C-step behind, elbow up, and hammer fist. That's how they go down. They're just going to slide down your leg just like that. Let's do it one time each side, or one time on this side. So I look, grab, step out, elbow, hammer fist, elbow up. From there, you can either cover out right away, or if you want, uh, before you do the hammer fist, or after you do the hammer fist, C-step behind, elbow, follow through, hammer fist. I'm not going to make you go all the way down that time. All right, from there, just kidding, I forgot to do it facing you guys. Uh, Strangle hold from behind, step, elbow, hammer fist, C step, elbow, hammer fist, stop, stay down. Strangle hold from behind, anchor, look, step, elbow, hammer fist, C step, elbow, hammer fist. Do it the other way, strangle hold from behind. Anchor, look, step, elbow, hammer fist, C step, elbow, hammer fist. Strangle hold from behind. Look, uh, anchor, step, elbow, hammer fist, C step, elbow, hammer fist. All right, almost there, team. Moving on to right side shoulder grab, bent on. So her arm is bent. Uh, she's getting pretty, she's standing like pretty close to me. I'm going to take my left hand, pin, wrap around, punch up. You can cover out from there. If you want to continue, it would be back knuckle punch to the ribs, come back up, corkscrew punch to the back of the head. Stop, stay back. I was doing it on the other side. I pin, wrap around, so yeah, I can do that now. <laughs> Break, back knuckle punch, come back around, corkscrew punch. Stop, stay back. Facing this way. Um, so I'm just going to this way just so you can see what's going on behind you. So I'm going to pin, wrap around, punch up, back knuckle punch. My hand comes back up and just punches the back of her head. Stop, stay down. And then one time facing this way. <laughs> on that pin, wrap around, up, out, corkscrew punch down, stop, stay back. I already did it both ways, so I'm not going to do it in the air. All right, moving on from there, that was right and left side shoulder grab. We got just plain right shoulder grab. So this one is a little bit more diff distance. If uh, you practice it enough that you can make it work, you can still do the same one. If not, your other option is called a wing break. I'm going to pin, step out. I inward block, breaking her arm. Bring my feet together. Bring my arm up. I'm going to step and elbow. Reach behind her back. Grab her neck. I'm going to dance her step back with my left. Throw her down. Knee punch. Stop, stay down. So she did it on the left side. I'm going to pin, step away. Uh, inward block, feet come in, circle down, elbow as I step closer, reach behind, grab, grab the neck, right foot dancing step behind, knee punch, stop, stay down, facing this way. Because this one, they gotta see what's going on behind me, so let's get a little bit closer. Don't bring anything. Pin, step out, break, move, right? Feet come in. Elbow down, grab, grab the neck, right foot dancer step, throw them down, 
Can you punch? One more time this way. Ten. Step out. Three. Feet in. Elbow down. Grab the hand. Grab the neck. Left foot steps back. Knee punch. Back stay down. Again, if that one's too complicated, you can do wrap around. You just got to make sure you're getting close to the elbow. Moving on from there. Push from behind. So we have two techniques you can do for this one. Easiest one is, uh, I forget the, the name for this one, but it's just gonna be a step forward. I'm gonna turn around as soon as I land, advancing front kick, stop, stay back. I would do that on either side. So if I did the other way, I step, turn, kick, stop, stay back. The other technique you have is springing scorpion. Sorry, my laptop's sliding a little bit. For this one, we practice it starting on our knees. We'll let you do the same thing for black belt testing. She pushes me, I land on my forearms, scrunch up right away, bringing one leg up, other hand stays up here by my face. I'm gonna kick her knee with my top leg, put that down on the ground, lift my hips off the ground, bottom leg shoots out. Bring this bottom leg behind me just like this. I stand right up, hover out, stop, stay down. If I was doing it facing this way, I'm down on my knees. She pushes me. I'm laying on my forearms. Scrunch my body up. Top leg. Kick. Put it down. Bottom leg. Kick. Bring it back. Cover out. Stop. Stay back. We're going to move on. All right. Double shoulder grab. This one would be a uh, two-man tech. So I'll have Miss Megan right here. Pretend there's another person right here. I'm going to pin this person's shoulder. I'll step, chop right to their uh, face or right to their neck. From here, uh, you have a couple options. You might see me do the flip. The flip is optional, but I'm going to do it with the flip. So I need to chop, flip. I'm going to let go. This hand's going to do an outward block as I step around. Locking her arm, I can grab her if I want. Get a shot to her neck. Stop, stay back. Cover out. Uh, one more time. Yeah, six sides. So I pin, step, chop, flip, come around, inward block, grab, chop, stop, stay back. Facing this way. Uh, two man shoulder grab, pull opponents at sides, pin, chop, flip. Awesome. I'll do it one time on my left. Opponents at sides, two man shoulder guys. Spin, shot, flip. Awesome. Stop, stay back. All right, moving on from there. Bear hook from the front, arm free. The attack for this one, Miss Megan's giving me a hug, but this time my arms are free. I'm going to cup my hands, and I'm going to clap right here on her eardrums. That'll burst them, make it hard for her to hear. I'm gonna contour her face as I drag my arm down, and right when I get to her neck, I'm gonna step back and push. From there, jab cross, stop, stay back. Uh, do it once facing this way. Doesn't matter which hand you do it with this one, but clap, contour, back, jab cross, stop, stay back. Bear to the front, arms free, clap, Contour, push back, jab cross, stop, stay back. Doing it this way, bear hug from the front, arms free, clap, contour the face, push, jab cross, stop, stay back. Moving on from there. Uh, kick and punch, go grab chase. Uh, this one we're doing in class right now, sweeping serpent. So the attack is an advancing front kick and then a right punch. I'll do it in the air first while Miss Megan grabs our other helper. I'm gonna step with my left leg forward on the 45 degree angle, right hand downward block, bring it back up outward block when they go for that punch. Punch to their ribs, grab their shoulder. I'm going to kick the back of their knee, stop, stay down. If I was doing it on the other side, I'd step with my right, left hand downward block, left hand outward block, uh, punch, now grab, shuffle up, 
sidekick, stop, stay down. Oh, I miss Megan. Go from this angle over here, yeah. She goes for that advancing front kick. I step downward block, outward block. Punch, grab, kick the back of her leg, stop, stay down. If I did it on the other side, step, other side of the leg. step downward block, outward block, punch, grab, kick, stop, stay down. I'll do it facing this way, kick and punch, uh, you would do sweeping serpent, block, out, punch, grab, kick, stop, stay down, side B, block, out, punch, grab, kick, stop, stay down. All right, from here, we have mount defense. So I'm gonna borrow Chase again. Long time no see, Chase. I'm gonna lay down on the ground. He's gonna sit on top of me. Uh, for this one, they could be punching you, choking you. Uh, we'll do it for a choke right now. So he's got me right here. I'm gonna take both my hands. I'm gonna pin down just like this. I'm going to uh, pin his leg, bump, and roll. Stop, stay down. If we were doing it for a punch, I'm punching my face, I bring my hands up, cover, knee, hug. I'm gonna reach above, pin his arm down just like that, trap his leg, bump, and roll. Stop, stay down. Air high five. No, get out. Thank you, Chase. All right, from there, we got front kick. You guys can do blocking the kick A and B for this one. So if I'm doing uh, either one of them, doesn't really matter. For one, step back, reverse punch. Or just kidding, I did that backwards. Uh, for the advancing front kick, step back, block. No, I'm great. Reverse punch, stop, stay back. For the returning front kick, I'm going to step back, block, advancing front kick. Doing it on the other side. So kick with uh, your left. Block, reverse punch. If she's doing the returning block, advancing front kick. Stop, stay down. Very simple. Then moving on to right hook punch. This one, uh, you would do double blades. Yeah, go ahead. Step forward, double blades. Grab, chop, stop, stay back. Uh, we're doing on the left side, double blades, grab, chop, stop, stay back. I'll do it facing this way. Double blades, grab, chop, stop, stay back. Then left hook punch, double blades, grab, chop, stop, stay back. Moving on, we got right left hook punch. Uh, for this one, I would do Chinese Cobra. So she goes right hook punch, I step back in. Eye darts as I uh, punch the solar plexus. Circle down, elbow, stop, stay back. Facing this way. Step back, in, out, down, elbow, stop, stay back. I'll do it facing you. In, out, down, elbow. Stop, stay back. Really important you get that eye rake as you outward block and solar plexus punch. Facing this way, uh, right, left, hook punch. In, out, down, up. Stop, stay back. From there we have uh, left, right, hook punch. For this one you would do drums of Manchu. Been a while since we've done this one in class, so some of you guys might not know this one, uh, or might not remember doing it. From here, uh, they're gonna come in. Oh, Miss Megan, sorry. We'll face this way. She goes for that left foot punch. I'm gonna step back. I do a downward block as this hand comes down as if I was doing a hammer fist, or this could just be there as a check. From there, she does the next punch. Oh, I'm gonna okay, do it slower. I'm gonna press forward, switching my hand. So now my left hand outward block, right hand hammer fist to the groin. From here, using my economy of motion, left hand claws the face. Right hand back knuckle to the nose. So, like, I'm doing the cha cha. Stop, stay back. Facing this way. So, again, left, right hook punch, step back. Uh, right, right downward block, or right outward block, left downward block. 
switch. So it's left outward block, right hammer fist, left claw, right back knuckle, stop, stay back. Okay. Left, right hook punch. This is called drums of Manchu. Step back, out, out as you hammer fist, claw, back knuckle, stop, stay back. Left, right hook punch, or drums of Manchu. Step back, outward block, downward block, press forward, outward block, hammer fist, press forward, claw, back knuckle, stop, stay back. All right, moving on from there. Almost there, Miss Megan. <laughs> nice poke. Uh, easiest one for this one, I would do track and lance. So she's gonna try and stab, I'm gonna scooch back. And this is kind of like an outward block with my arm, but I'm coming from the inside, down like that. From here, I'm gonna snake my arm in as I step in, so I'm bringing it up. My arm's coming through hers. Trap from the elbow, right hand grabs her arm, uh, her neck. So right here, you notice I have control of her arm. She could try and move her arm and bend it, but if I push down her elbow, she can't bend it. From here, I'm just gonna push down on her neck. I'm gonna get my body close to her arm. This pins it against my body, gives me even more control. I'm gonna throw three knees, grab the knife, throw it behind me, stop, stay down. Let's say, uh, she drops the knife, so I'm going to do the same thing out, get close to the arm as I trap, grab the neck. I would do this until she drops the knife. From there, I'm going to kick it away, then stop, stay back. Doing it from this angle, reach back, block, step in, snake your arm in, get close to the arm, get her neck down, knees until she drops the knife. Stop, stay back, and I put that way, so push it the other way. All right, facing this way. Knife poke, uh, the name of the technique would be trapping hands. Scooch back, lock, snake in with your left, right hand grab the neck, one, two, three, stop, stay back. Facing this way, uh, knife poke, scooch back, block, snake in, neck, one, two, three, Stop, say that. That one looks really goofy on an attacker. Weather alert. All right, moving on from there. Gun, everyone's favorite. This one's called Uncovering the Flame. First thing you do, someone pulls a gun to you, hands up, say, what do you want? I'm going to drop my stance as I hit her gun up with the webs of my phones, just like that. So be, what do you want? Right here. From here, I'm gonna angle it, angle it down so that way pointing towards her. I'm just gonna rip it out of her grip, tap, rack, stop. So again, one more time. What do you want? I drop my stance, come up. Watch how I bring the gun down. So I point it towards her, turn it this way against her finger. This way, uh, if her finger isn't the trigger, it would be snapping as I pull the gun out. Tap, rack, stop. Facing this way. What do you want? I drop my stance, block up. I point it down towards her. Turn it this way. Pull, tap, rack, stop. One time facing this way. What do you want? Drop your stance. Point it towards them, turn it so it's flat, pull, tap, rack, stop. What do you want? Drop your stance as you hit it up, grab, turn it towards them, now flatten it, pull back, tap, rack, stop. Moving on from there. Thank you. Hammerlock. The attack for hammerlock is a hammerlock. Uh, so she's holding my arm behind my back just like this. Uh, we'll do other hand. No, you're right the first time, sorry. Uh, best way to, uh, easiest one to do is silent escape. So I'm going to step with my left, straighten out my arm. I'm going to turn and counter grab. Pull her in as I punch the ribs. Stop, stay back. I'll do it once facing this way. So she has me in a hammerlock right here. Her palm would be facing up. Left foot steps around, 
counter grab as I turn, colon punch, stop, stay back. Doing it on the other arm. I'm going to step out, counter grab as I turn, colon punch, stop, stay back. Sorry. Step, counter grab and turn, colon punch, stop, stay back. That one's easy enough. I'll do it one time facing this way. So arm behind my back, step, turn and punch. Stop, stay back. All right, moving on. Guard position. Uh, if you want to get chased, you just do it. All right, we'll just do it because it's more quick. So for this one, you're laying on your back. You're in my guard. Uh, she's in my guard right here. I have my legs wrapped around her. Uh, I'm going, let's say she's punching me, I'm trying to block, I'm going to get carry one pass, just like that. From there, I'm going to grab her arm, pull her in, put one foot on her hip, and I'm just going to shrimp out. So I shoot this way, shrimp, shrimp, if she gets close, bicycle kick so she stays away. Uh, let's say she's not punching you, maybe she's choking you or something, uh, just right here. Uh, she's trying to grab me. Uh, what I'm going to do, just bring my arms out, swim just like that, uh, push up, foot on her hip, push back as you shrimp out, bicycle kick. From there, we got headlock. Uh, we'll do both different headlocks. So we got headlock A and headlock B and C. So headlock A, they're standing belly button facing the same way. They got me down right here. I'm going to step in front with my right, double hair fist, one on the stomach or bladder, one to the kidney, left hand reaches around, grab the, uh, the chin, I want to say. I'm going to go back, hammer fist, throwing her over my leg, just like we did with a uh, stranglehold from behind. If I did it on the other side, I step forward, double hammer fist, right hand reaches, grab under the chin, turn, hammer fist to the chest. All right? Yeah. We'll do it facing this way. Right leg steps forward, double hammer fist, reach around, throw her down. Facing this way, left leg steps forward, double hammer fist, reach around, pull back, and <laughs> this to the chest. Stop, stay down. Oh, we also got headlock uh, B and C. So for this one, stand in front of me. We're facing towards each other. She has me in the headlock right here. Uh, this is going to be very similar to stranglehold. I look to where she's open. Anchor down, instead of stepping uh, forward or out, I'm gonna step back and think of it as you're bowling. You're gonna take your hand close to her groin, boom, reach hand right up to the groin, cover out, stop, stay back. On this side, I do the same thing. Look to my left, anchor down, step back. I'm gonna get in a closed kneel, so I'm bending that back leg as I reach hand up to the groin, stop, stay back. So if I was this way, <laughs> Look, anchor, step back, close kneels and uh, rich hand, step, stay back. Other side, look, anchor down, step back, rich hand, stop, stay back. All right, almost done. Tackle techniques, everyone's favorite because they're so easy. She's gonna uh, stand pretty close to me, not that far. She's gonna run at me for a tackle. I step back, I'm guiding her with my left hand. Right hand's going to hammer fist down to the back of the neck, back of the spine, back of the head. Stop, stay back. I did this side. I step, or go ahead. I step back, left hand guide, right hammer fist down, stop, stay back. That's tackle technique one. Tackle technique one has the rock. Two, we're gonna do the paper. So she's, uh, same thing, she runs at me, step back, guide the head, this time right hand, shot to the neck or the back of the head. Stop, stay back, doing it this way. Step back, guide, shot, stop, stay down. 
Then we have tiger technique three, that's the scissors. I'm doing an elbow like that, so uh, my hands are closing like scissors. She comes at me, this time I'm gonna grab her ear, guide her head like that, and elbow the side of her face as she comes past me. So again, this way, I grab her ear, right elbow to the temple, stop, stay down. Moving on, jab cross. Over this one, uh, they're standing across. She's gonna jab, lock down, lock down, jab cross. So very easy, just fly swatting almost. One more time, she jabs, backhand blocks the jab, front hand back, uh, blocks the cross. Stop, stay back. You can do that one, or if you want, you can do circling the sun. So circling the sun, she throws that jab. I'm gonna step back, right crane, right crane, back knuckle punch. So I did it on the other side. I step back, right crane, right crane, back knuckle punch, stop, stay back. If I did it, if she attacked off the opposite hands, it would just be left crane. So left crane, left crane, back knuckle, left crane, left crane, back knuckle, stop, stay back. Full Nelson, so spread the leads for this one. You can also do scraping puff for this one. So she has me right here. I'm gonna take my hands. I'm going to step forward and uh, kind of elbow down. From there, elbow, 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 rear kick. The other one you can do, the one I like better for this one is uh, scraping hooves. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to headbutt back as I punch out, right? No, just kidding. I'm going to start the same way I did the first one. So I'm going to uh, bring my elbows up. Uh, as I do that, I'm going to punch the uh, sides of her head. So if you can turn this way, I'd be bringing it back, punch right there. From there, I'm going to punch straight out as I headbutt back, kick both her legs down, cover out, stop, stay back. Spreading leaves is probably easier. Scraping health makes more sense for me. Uh, so I'll do scraping hook in the air and spreading leaves in the air. Spreading the leaves down, elbow, 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 rear kick, stop, stay back. Down, elbow, 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 rear kick. Stop, stay back. Scraping hoof, punch, out, kick, kick, stomp, stop, stay back. Scraping hoof, punch, L, uh, headbutt, kick, kick, stomp, stop, stay back. All right, last one for real this time. Double wrist grab. Super easy, just do anvil. So, to grab both my wrists, I step back to my right, flick my wrist up, clear her arms out of the way as I advancing front kick. From there, land, double field palm slash butterfly palm their wrists, stop, stay back. So I was doing it this way. Step back, flick out, clear, kick, palms, stop, stay back. Facing you, double wrist grab, or just anvil, double wrist grab. Back. Kick, asa, doing it on the other side, back, kick, asa, and build, back, kick, asa, and build, back, kick, asa. All right, that's all your techniques and all of what I would say are the easiest uh, self-defense techniques to do with those attacks. Practice with your parents or mom or, uh, practice with your parents or brother and sister. Rewind the videos, pause as much as you need to go over that. If you have questions, we'll have future sessions uh, weekly, every Friday. That's it.